Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Piano Centres and this is my buyer's guide for the brand new Kawai NV10S Hybrid Piano. In this video, I'm going to explain a little bit about what a hybrid piano is and what makes the NV10S different from other pianos on the market. And also, of course, I'm going to play it for you so it will give you a good indication of what the actual tone of this instrument is like. If you'd like to come and try the NV10S for yourself, you can do that in one of Bonner's piano centres. Uh, we have three showrooms. One is on the south coast in Eastbourne, another one in Rygate in Surrey, just off of Junction 8 of the M25 motorway, and we have another store in Milton Keynes, just off of the M1 motorway. So you can try the NV10S in all three of our stores and you can compare it with other models from different manufacturers just to make sure that you're making the right buying decision when you're buying a new piano. So let's just start by recapping on what a hybrid piano actually is. Now I would describe a hybrid piano as kind of being the marriage or the combination of an acoustic piano and a digital piano combined. So you have the keyboard which is taken from a Kawai uh, acoustic grand piano. In this case it's Kawai's Millennium 3 grand piano keyboard. But the sound is produced digitally. So that means there's no strings, there's no tuning, and you get all the advantages that you would normally associate with a digital piano, such as being able to plug headphones in and a choice of different sounds and recording features. But you've got the touch and the feel and the expressiveness that you would normally associate with an acoustic piano. So it's a really great invention because it means that you could have uh, the experience of playing an acoustic piano, perhaps in um, buildings or apartments where it's just not possible to have an acoustic piano um, and you can still enjoy playing the instrument just as much because you feel at one and you're really connected with it. So before I go any further what I want to do is just play you a piece of music using the very first piano sound that you get when you power on the NV10S and that's the sound of the Shigeru Kawai SKEX Concert Grand. So the NV10S has a really great range of acoustic piano voices. You've got concert grands, studio grands, and even some upright piano voices as well. But Kawai gives you the option to alter the sort of tonal character of those voices using their virtual technician function. Now, on the day that I recorded this video, Kawai released a software update for the NV10S which added a really powerful new feature and this is on every new NV10S that's purchased from Bonners now um, that you can now alter the voicing or the, the tone of every single note so if you think that there's a note that might be a little bit too bright for you then you can tone it down a little bit and vice versa if you want to make this the whole piano a bit brighter you can do that as well but you can actually edit it down to every single note now you can do that using the touch panel 
control on the left hand side here that's where you make all the adjustments to the voices and do recording and everything like that but also Kawai offer their um, piano remote app and this is completely free of charge and this works on both um, Apple iOS devices and also Android devices too and it's an app which basically replicates the operating system you have on the touchscreen down there so the touchscreen here is about the same size as a, a large mobile phone but to make it even easier to operate and certainly when you want to get into the detailed uh, voice editing then you can do all of that using the piano remote app and it really is a, a joy to use so I'm going to play you another piece of music now and it's still using the same grand piano voice so that's the SKEX concert grand piano but this time I'm changing the overall character to what Kawhi would call romantic so it's a slightly more mellow sound um, so there are some preset um, variations on the pianos so you don't have to to go to go through and, and create your own piano sounds or edit the pianos or anything there are lots and lots of uh, presets within the virtual technician part of the piano that allow you to just select a preset so you can have a nice bright jazzy piano and it's just a variation on the main piano sound so have a listen to this so it's the SKEX concert grand piano sound but with the romantic voice setting So as you could hear, it's a really nice piano voice that comes from the NV10S. And you can only really experience it by playing it, but it, it, the, the combination of the keyboard and the sound together, it's a really nice experience. And I really would suggest you come and have a play on a Novus NV10S in one of our stores, just so you can experience that for yourself. So as I've already said, the NV10S is a hybrid piano, and that means it's got the piano action from an acoustic piano but the sound is created digitally but something that's different and this is only on the NV10S is the uh, damper pedal mechanism or you might know it as the sustain pedal and that is that when you press the pedal on a on a grand piano it lifts the dampers off the off the strings and that actually changes the weighting of the keyboard it actually makes it very slightly lighter uh, when you play. Now the NV10S has exactly that kind of damping mechanism so when you press the pedal you will notice the keys lighten up a little bit and that's just the same as with a grand piano and that's unique to the NV10S. So as with a digital piano the NV10S gives you a huge choice of different voices. It's not just acoustic piano voices. In fact, there are 90 different sounds that you can play with and you can layer any two together or you can split the keyboard in two and have one sound on your right and one sound on your left. So in this next example, this is one of my favorite combinations of sounds and this is to layer the sound of a concert grand piano with the sound of a string orchestra so that on every single note you've actually got two sounds, the sound of the piano and the sound of the orchestra and it's a really nice sort of engaging uh, sound to play. So uh, just have a listen to this example.
So as I said, you can split the keyboard in two. So in this next example, I'm going to have the sound of the piano on my right hand, but in my left hand, I've got the sound of the acoustic bass and a ride cymbal mixed together. And it gives you a kind of a jazz trio type effect. So finally, I'd just like to talk about some of the other useful features that you'll find on the NV10S. Um, first of all, it has a really great recording facility, so you can record yourself playing and it will record it as an audio file. And what that means is that it's in a, an audio format which you can share with family and friends um, or upload to the internet. Um, you can also uh, plug in a computer via USB cable so you can record directly into your favorite audio recording software or, or even MIDI recording as well. So if you use Cubase or Logic, it'll integrate really nicely with that. But even better, the NV10S has both Bluetooth audio and Bluetooth MIDI connectivity. So you can actually communicate with your laptop completely uh, wirelessly, which is great. Now, one question we get asked all the time is, can I use Bluetooth headphones with my piano? And the answer is no. And that's true of every single digital piano on the market. And the reason for that is that Bluetooth um, audio there creates a slight delay between what uh, the piano is playing and what you're hearing. So it would be uh, quite disconcerting to uh, have uh, wireless headphones on, but there was a delay between what you were playing and what you're actually hearing in your ears. So uh, no digital pianos will use Bluetooth headphones, but the Bluetooth audio capability in the MV10S is great because you can stream the sound of um, something playing on your mobile phone or your tablet computer through the fantastic speaker system of the MV10S and you can play along with it as well. So you might find something on the internet, maybe on, on a video website that you'd like to play along with. Um, you can do that completely wirelessly by streaming the audio from your device through the MV10S speaker system. So if you're thinking of purchasing an NV10S at Bonners, we offer different package options with various stalls and headphones. So take a look on our website uh, to see what we're offering at the moment. But if there's a particular package you're looking for, then get in touch and we can build something that's bespoke to your requirements. We also offer part exchange as well. So if you have a, an acoustic or a digital piano that you're thinking of upgrading to an NV10S, then please send us details. You'll uh, find our contact details in the description to this video and we'll get right back to you with a part exchange price. We can pick up your existing instrument at the same time as we deliver a new Kawai Novus to you. So that brings me to the end of my Novus NV10S buyer's guide. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've got any questions about purchasing a digital piano, please do get in touch. Um, otherwise, come to one of our stores and you can actually experience this and other pianos uh, for yourself. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in another one of my piano demonstration movies.